Oh, Manabhimi, Hana, Manabhimi, Hana. Earth man meditates, gets down on his knees before the altar. He meditates. Up down. Jesus, yeah. Yeah, he ponders Jesus got the death penalty <laughs> because he was too real for the uh, contemporary power establishment. Mm -hmm. To adjust to, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and later in life, uh, his one of his main uh, disciples, John, was uh, shut down mm -hmm. from haranguing street crowds in Ephesus across the channel. <laughs> you know, from here uh, in Ephesus, yeah, and, uh, about the wisdom of his guru, Jesus. Yeah. Roman emperor worshippers. Mm -hmm. Shut him down and condemned him to a life imprisonment of hard labor. Right here. Patmos, the Alcatraz of Anatolia. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like uh, there's a kind of human <clears throat> who gets so seized by the Spirit's truth that this person uh, just keeps doggedly carrying on with his or her trap no matter what. Uh, the natural fear sense, uh, survival instinct, Hardly there anymore. Short circuited or regulated to a you know, real low priority. And what a tragedy that these avant garde uh, men and women, these human innovators at the cutting edge of compassionate uh, spiritual evolution, killed off like rabid ducks. Yeah. These prophets, seers, mystics, sacrifice enormously, way beyond the common human measure of sacrifice. Uh, this freak mutated uh, spiritualist <sighs> trade away personal comfort, mm -hmm. uh, freedom, <laughs> yeah. Mobility, connection to their family. To trade that all away for divine revelation, vision, truth. And once this truth and vision is divined, uh, these remarkable characters. offer this truth, vision, absolutely free yeah, for humanity. And what does uh, mankind do in the face of these visionaries? They boil them in oil. Mm, because they're too different. Mm -hmm. And force paranoid society to radically reassess their anachronistic, old fashioned can you get, institutionalized, cruel, blatant, <laughs> terrorist behavior. Cruel, blatant, terrorist behavior. Kind of got a contemporary ring to that, all right. Yeah. Um, well, Earth Man uh, descends deeper into hippie prophecy. Uh, revelation. Avatars, oh, yeah, dangerous to the status quo because they impose a dominating harmony and balance on the 
environment around them, on the nations around them. Yeah, uh, they're dangerous, these avatars. Uh, they, they, uh, they uh, overwhelm uh, the old, familiar, warm and fuzzy, all those comfort sounds, huh? To put it bluntly, uh, ev uh, eventually, these seers and visionaries do not su uh, subsidize the local bullshit anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, Romans, yeah, <laughs> condemn John to the remote island for anti imperial activists classical prisoner, political prisoner, because he was teaching a new paradigm created by a wise master who offered a more transcendent lifestyle based on a higher kind of love. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. That challenged the current <laughs> Legal, familiar, mm -hmm. safe, state sanction, athletic party line. Uh -uh. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, of corrupt old fashioned emperor worship. You know, it's like exactly like today. I'm talking 1968, two millennium later, next island from Palmos, Leros. Uh, the Greek generals, the dictators who took over. <laughs> 1967, and po prison political activists right there in Laros, in torture chambers. Because they don't agree with their militaristic insanity. These dictators force orthodox monks to shave off their beards. <sighs> no free press. Mm -mm. Criticism? <sighs> or off to the Laro, so I will torture you. Stop that, huh? Yeah, monopoly. Monopoly on self righteousness. Oh, yeah, wait. <laughs> Astral asshole national terrorism. Let that sink in. Astral asshole demonic forces from a uh, invisible dimension. National terrorism, state sanctioned terrorism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have to look far for another example. The social dynamic that has old John breaking rocks down at the quarry. Yeah, the contemporary torture chambers <laughs> driving on the next adjacent island, 20 kilometers to the southwest. <sighs> what about me? I count for something. Mm -hmm. I breathe. I exist. I take up space. <laughs> yeah, uh, my life brief, precious. Uh, yet I am selflessly sacrificing to walk the truth of my spirit on the run from Imperial America, <laughs> my home society insisting on chaining me to slaughter innocent earth people in Asia, on command, Emperor Nixon, hmm. Hmm. wants me to kill my Vietnamese brothers and sisters. 
But the British opium trick doesn't work anymore. And those French, they got their asses blown off in the MPN few. They threw a few crumbs for the Americans afterward to follow up on their slaughtering colonialism. Yeah. Well, the Americans guaranteed, oh yeah, free elections in all Vietnam, mm -hmm. according to the 1954 Geneva Convention. But uh, when the imperial powers in Washington realized that, oh gee, man, yeah, oh, yeah, he'd win the election hands down, they changed the game. Uh, canceled the vote. Just like they canceled the vote for the Kashmiris in 1947, too. They promised them the vote. When then the Kashmiris said, yeah, like, we want to do our own thing. Back off Pakistan, back off India. What did India do? Canceled the vote. This thing's not going your way, huh? We're not going to play that game. We got the power. Nothing you can do about it. Yeah. So the Americans, yeah, the Yanks, they partitioned Vietnam. <laughs> yeah. And put their puppet Catholic ruler in the south and the rest is horrible karmic history mm -hmm. I wonder how long it will take the Americans if ever to apologize to the Vietnamese for napalming them and killing them by the hundreds of thousands. Um, honest, I'm sorry? I'm a free-thinking, spiritual young man, 20 years old. I refused to kill my fellow man, and I went to prison for that in Michigan rather than... Okay? Uh, yeah, they threw me in prison, just uh, like Emperor Domitian jailed John, here, 19 centuries ago. Not much has changed, baby. Mm -hmm. As the entranced institution and their power-addicted overlords continue to systematically coerce and imprison free-thinking, heartfelt individuals. So John and his uh, spiritual master, Jesus, hassled to death. But what happened? The Roman Empire converted from Emperor worship to Christianity in 313 in the Common Era. Mm -hmm. 